All right, we have our oily fireside chat for Tuesday, October 20th. We're having some technical difficulties. We can't share it live to Facebook, so this is definitely going to be a lot of people watching the replay. Um, if you catch us here on Zoom, um, just make sure to mute and uh, turn off your video if you don't want to be on YouTube, because we do repost these to YouTube for everyone to watch again and again for more oily info. Um, tonight we've got Anne and Janelle and myself, Tessa. We're going to be sharing about the holiday product guide that was just released on Saturday. All kinds of fun products. Some of them are sticking around and some of them are limited time only. So does anyone want to volunteer to go first? <laughs> All right, Janelle. <laughs> okay. So the there's a lot of things that I'm very excited about with the holiday catalog. Um, they uh, Young Living attempted to launch their ho holiday catalog last Saturday, and the traffic was four times the amount that they normally see on Black Friday, and so the internet broke. So they are working very hard to increase the bandwidth times a gazillion um, so that they can safely launch have that amount of traffic when they launch. Um, so we're just patiently waiting for the relaunch. They're hoping for later this week, but nothing has been um, decided definitely. So we thought we would get, in, we would start talking about some of the products that are gonna be in the holiday catalog and give you guys a little sneak peek teaser. And that way you can formulate your lists of what you want to grab. Um, so the one, well, there's a lot of things I'm excited about, but one of the things I'm very excited about is um, they have a Snowy the Owl diffuser. And so I'm gonna hold up, this is what my kids have in their rooms. They've got Feather. Okay, so Feather comes apart. I'll try to do this with one hand because I'm, I'm holding my phone. Okay, so he comes apart. You put water into the basin. You put his head back on, okay. And then um, there are 10 different light settings. You can do continuous, intermittent, or off as far as what the settings are. And then um, he plays five different songs. And so I, I should say noises. So there's a white noise, there's like a waves, there's a, a music one, there's a bird one. Like my husband, when the first time he heard it, he was like, <laughs> Do you hear birds? <laughs> it was really funny. <laughs> and then the last one, I'm blanking. There's five different music. I, I don't know. My kids like the white noise one or like the ocean one. Um, every once in a while, Isaiah likes the bird one, which sends him for a loop. But anyway, so they have come out with a snowy owl diffuser. And so rather than looking like feather, it looks like a snowy owl. So it's all white. Um, it's got like gray, um, gray feet. And then the, the, the um, why am I blanking? Mm -hmm. His little wings, yep. That's the word I'm looking for. I worked all night last night, so please forgive me. I'm blanking on words. Um, anyways, so a little partner for Feather is gonna be Snowy the Owl Diffuser and Wholesale, I, I want to say $99.50, so $99.50 wholesale, but it's going to come with the diffuser, and then it's going to come with a 15 ml bottle of Kid Power. Um, that one just came in our ER order this month, and oh my gosh, you guys, it smells like a dreamsicle. It smells so awesome, and it was formulated for kiddos, and the purpose of it is to um, help boost confidence and focus and even promote some relaxation for um, for kiddos and it smells awesome so it's like kids valor basically um, and then it also comes with a 5 ml I believe of sleep BIs another one that we use a lot around bedtime here at the Psalm house my boys none of them like to sleep so we use that one a lot um, so that I'm so, so excited about to give a partner for Feather. My six-year-old is also obsessed with owls. He could tell you every fact there is to know about owls. So he was like literally jumping up and down when he saw the picture of the Feather or of the snowy diffuser. Um, so 
there's that. The other thing that I want to touch on, um, so that's for kiddos. Okay, two things. I got two more things. Um, the other things I'm super excited about is they have like little silicone um, holders for your hand sanitizer. These hand sanitizer, you guys, hands down, the best hand sanitizer out there. There's no crap in it. It's effective. Um, it's one of the products that Young Living has gotten the thumbs up from the FDA to be labeled as hand sanitizer. So it has passed all of those tests. It's effective. It smells good. It's got a little hint of peppermint in it. Um, so these holders are great to attach to your diaper bag, to your kid's backpack, to your purse. And they are the cutest little polar animals. So the ones before were like a fox, an owl, and a raccoon. And then the new one, they're like little cute holiday polar animals. So I'm super excited about those. Um, and then the one thing that they have every year that I get every single year is they have a four pack of their lip balm. I'm going to be that crazy grandma in the nursing home that's like clutching my chapstick because I really enjoy chapstick. And I have tried every single chapstick out there. By far the best chapstick on the planet is Young Living's chapstick. And they only have this four pack available. I want to say it's like 16 or $17. Um, it's only available in the holiday catalog. Otherwise you can buy them like individually, but um, the vanilla mint one, I know for sure is only at the holidays. So it's the most bang for your buck. So I usually buy like a lot of them. I'm not going to disclose it because it's going to make me even look more crazy. I usually buy a lot of them <laughs> during holidays um, because it is by far the best chapstick on the planet for real. Okay. Those are the three things I really wanted to talk about. I'm excited about everything, but I need to share the space and I'm going to pass the baton on to whoever wants to go next. You know, right? Like they were announcing everything and with everything they're like, oh, I need that. Oh, I need that. Oh, that's so cool. Like it's super exciting. All the stuff they're releasing this month. When we were talking about what we were going to pick for presenting tonight, I was like, how do I only pick a handful of things and not talk about it all? <laughs> I got to say, Karis, her favorite animal is owls. And she, there's that little 30 or 45 second like commercial for Snowy. And she's probably watched it like 16 times. Mama Owl movie, Mama Owl movie, and Mama Owl movie. So I don't know what she's going to do when she finds out Luke and I are getting her that for Christmas this year. She'll probably freak. <laughs> and do you want to go next or should I take one of mine? I've got kind of two things I'm talking about, so. You can go ahead and, and we can flip flop if you want. Sounds good. All right. So the first one I'm present. Okay. So I'm super excited about what I'm presenting second, but I don't want to take up too much time. So if I do that one last, I'll be more time aware, especially since we started, started late with um, technical difficulties. So I'm presenting on some of the winter lights products. So we got, there's a oil blend, there's the hand soap and the lotion. I think those are the only three with the winter nights, right? Yeah. Okay. So it's the hand soap, the lotion, and then there's a diffuser blend. So the Northern Night, the Winter Nights has Northern Lights Black Spruce, has Peppermint, has Cedarwood, and has Orange. Those are the four like highlighted oils in that blend. And I could probably spend 20 minutes talking about each of those oils, but I like limited down my notes and I'm not talking about everything. Um, I'm just going to highlight some of the things about the Northern Lights Black Spruce. This is one of Luke's favorite oils. He uses it, he alternates between Northern Lights Black Spruce, Idaho Grand Fur, and some other tree oil. Those are his colognes. That's what he uses. Um, so today I learned that Northern Lights Black Spruce makes a really good base if you're doing a mixed cologne. Um, it also helps get rid of dry skin. It makes a wonderful moisturizing oil or lotion. So what a genius idea that they put it in their lotion. It's very grounding. It's good for spiritual centering, calm, and focus. And it's a perfect oil for meditation or prayer time. The aroma can help to, call, to relieve fatigue. So that's really good for Janelle working nights. Um, it creates a wonderful clean smell for your home and you can have it smelling like a fresh, crisp forest. 
Um, so what a great idea for hand soap, right? Because it's really clean and it makes a wonderful soothing massage. So again, you can use the lotion for a massage lotion. So that's a little bit, a little bit about Northern Lights Black Spruce. Uh, peppermint, I know we've touched on in at least one of these oily fireside chats, but I think it's actually been three. So if you want more details on peppermint, by all means go back and rewatch some of those videos. Um, a light touch on peppermint. It is really good for like nervous stress kind of a deal. It's very uplifting. It's great for muscle and head discomfort. Um, really good for if you've got like some like nausea or um, like indigestion kind of a thing. If, you're, if your digestive system is just feeling a little out of whack. Um, hello, does your dad know you're down here? I have an escapee. <laughs> Oh, she's supposed to be in bed. Um, <laughs> so, do you want to come sit here till your daddy finds you? <laughs> oh, surprises never cease. Um, anyway, so peppermint, really, really good for the respiratory system, the digestive system, and your emotional system. Um, I love putting this with my hand soaps when I home make hand soaps. Um, like lavender and mint is a really popular combo around here, so is lemon and mint. For when I make my own hand soaps, the luscious lemon hand soap that Young Living already has, just put a couple of drops of peppermint in there and I love it. So when they announced that the Winter Nights hand soap was coming out, I was like, oh great, they've done half my work for me by putting peppermint in there. So I love, love, love peppermint. Orange is another really great oil, same citrus family as lemon. If you've been tuning into our Oily Fireside Chats, you've heard me talk about lemon for probably hours worth of um, screen time. So, uh, orange, again, same kind of family. I love the citrus oils. They are great for uplifting your mood and relieving stress. They're amazing for skin issues like acne or maskiny right now, because we're all wearing masks. Um, it can help with discomfort. It helps with like stomach upset, some digestive issues there. Orange makes a wonderful natural household cleaner, um, along the same lines as lemon does. I love the pleasant scent that orange adds to a room. Um, orange helps me when I diffuse it next to my refrigerator, um, specifically citrus fresh, but I've done just orange as well. It helps uh, curb those not so good for you cravings. So that's wonderful. It works really well in homemade perfumes and cleaners. And I like adding it to food and beverages. Um, I highly encourage you to look up benefits of orange essential oil on Google. Um, a lot of the things listed here, I don't think I'm allowed to read about from the FDA. Um, I, I will say that um, when I was going through, me personally, anxiety and depression, um, oils that had the citrus in them like orange, um, really, really helped with that emotional time for me. And also, and there's a study from 2015 in this about women in labor, but me specifically when in labor and um, postpartum, orange essential oil really helps with just diffusing it really helps with that like postpartum anxiety or the in labor anxiety. So look up the 2015 study for that one. Um, I can't read some of my other notes here, guys. Sorry. These are not FDA compliant. I, I have to be careful. I can forward stuff to you. If you ask me, I can show you where to go. Um, what was the other one that's in there? Oh, cedarwood. Lots and lots and lots of notes on cedarwood. I know we've talked about this one in Oily Fireside Chats as well. Um, this is, I think, one of Rose's top five favorite oils. Definitely one of Luke's top five favorite oils. It's steam distilled from the wood. It has a sweet, woody, rich overtone scent. It is also a base note if you're making your man cologne for Christmas. Um, it was used by the ancient Egyptians for embalming purposes, which I find wonderful. It helps to repel insects, insects and it can pre prevent the development of mildew. That was interesting. I didn't know that till today. I was doing some extra research because I wanted new stuff. You guys have been tuning in for a while. Um, it helps to control dandruff, which is interesting. So a cedar wood shampoo would be really, really good. Um, and it helps to diminish, 
helps to diminish cellulite. So how cool is that? Um, so use your hand soap as a body wash, I guess, because it controls dandruff and it diminishes cellulite. So there you go. Um, I know we've talked about cedarwood um, assisting with sleep. I know we've talked about cedarwood with anxiety, so I won't really go over those. Um, but um, let me just tell you that these four as a combo, I tried them in my diffuser today because I was like, well, I can't get my hands on the stuff because the website's locked down for a little while. Not the website, but like the new stuff is locked down. So I did a nice little combo and I don't know the ratios of them for the blend. Um, but I put them in my diffuser today. Holy mackerel, do those guys know what they're doing when they're mixing scents. That is so good, you guys. I cannot wait to be able to actually order the blend that they came up with in the lab because what I did off the cuff was amazing. I can't wait to smell what they like scientifically put together. So I think that's all I'm going to talk about about the winter nights stuff. Um, I could go on for more, but I'm going to give Anne a turn with the mic. <laughs> Thanks, Tessa. That was really, really um informative and I am super excited as well about pretty much everything in the holiday. <laughs> I got a log which I don't know if that's good or bad but um, yeah I'm gonna have to narrow it down. So um, getting ready for tonight um, you know again we were just trying to pick out just a few of the products that really kind of caught our eyes and so I to do um, more so on the laundry room side of things. Um, as we know, you know, some of the laundry soaps and dryer sheets and fabric softeners that you buy in the store um, are not um, all that great for you. And so um, Young Living actually, you know, has a really simple, um, substitute for let's say for example um you know fabric softener dryer sheets you know they're supposed to get rid of static cling and make your clothes smell fresh well here's a simple way they've come out with you can get four premium dryer balls premium not just any dryer balls but premium dryer balls and and along with it, because you don't want to just put dryer balls in there by themselves, you know, I mean, that could take care of the static cling, but mm, I know I'm one, I, I like to kind of give it a little, a little pizzazz. So they're including a five milliliter bottle of lavender, as well as a five milliliter bottle of bergamot. And those two are a couple of my favorites. Anyway, I have them located throughout my house so I have more than one bottle <laughs> um, and so I'm looking forward to you know trying that out um, you know I currently have some dryer balls but who's to say I can't get more um, <laughs> because you know make a really good gift idea uh, for somebody and um, you know so that really stuck out in my mind I was like oh that's perfect you know, because then you don't have to get the fabric softener, you don't have to get those nasty dryer sheets, um, and you're basically doing the same thing. You're getting rid of your static cling and you're kind of giving it a fresh, fresh smell. Now, it's not just limited to lavender and bergamot, but you can, you know, you know, I use lots of different, different ones, joy and all, all kinds of, of different ones. And then the other thing that really caught my eye was the Thieves Laundry Caddy Collection. And this is what it comes with. It comes with this little caddy, okay? So a little carry little thing to keep everything in. Um, 32 ounce bottle of the Thieves Laundry Soap, which is very, very concentrated. Um, so you can get a lot more out of it um, than if you just using it straight out of the bottle. And we've talked about how we can, all the little tricks that, that we do to kind of stretch it, um, making it even more economical. Um, it also comes with five hanger rings, um, three glass bottles, they're, they're empty, but with labels. So 
hence being able to take that really highly concentrated um, thieves laundry soap and kind of dividing it up and then you can really make it last a long time. I can honestly say, um, because I'm, I'm an empty nester, I can honestly say I can make that laundry soap last for months. And I do a lot of laundry, but not as, me, not as much as you gals with, with little, little kiddos. Um, but it, so, so that was really awesome. And it's, and it's really not that terrible um, price-wise either. Um, you get all of that, you know, for $75 and the, um, the dryer balls with the oils are like 50. So that's not terrible. That's not a terrible price at all when you break it all down. So those are just a couple of things that I wanted to highlight. Um, just you know, gals help me kind of decide what to talk about. So back to you, Tessa. And how exciting that they came out with those, like just after we finished our series on toxic swaps. So like if you guys didn't catch the videos we did on swapping out toxic cleaners in your home, please go back and watch those because we literally talked about the laundry room and about dryer balls versus dryer sheets and about laundry soap and like why to switch them out, like the health benefits and health risks. So how cool, it's like Young Living watches these videos, guys, because they came out with these just after we finished that series. I, could, I looked at that and I was like, that could not be timed any better for people who watch our Oily Fireside chats. All the stuff you need is right there. <laughs> Maybe they did watch us. Maybe they did. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the last one that I have to talk about is vanilla. And I have pages and pages and pages and pages of notes on vanilla essential oil because since I joined Young Living six years ago, I have been, <laughs> I have been sending emails to their department, you there's if you want the email I, the address, I can send it to you. But they have an email address where you can have product requests, and they probably got annoyed with me asking for vanilla. I have done pages and pages and pages and hours and hours and hours of research on vanilla essential oil because I think the only way we can get it right now is in Stress Away. I believe that's the only oil that contains vanilla essential oil, and I'm like. Do you realize what you could do if you were to like just separate out the vanilla and let us have that one by itself? There are lots of reasons why it hasn't happened yet. It's very, very hard to grow vanilla. It's part of the orchid family. I'm getting a little ahead of you on my notes here, but um, there's a lot of work that goes into growing it and distilling it and like the pods have to be fertilized. They only produce one time a year. So there's a lot that goes into this oil, which makes me amazed that it's not up in the price range of rose and jasmine. The fact that it's affordable is, okay, rose and jasmine are affordable as well, but you have to save up for it. Um, so like the fact that it's the price that it is, I told Luke yesterday, just so you know, I'm ordering four bottles, like the minute the website goes live. And he's like, are you sure you need four? I'm like, dude, I'm just going to like drink one bottle. <laughs> not really. It's not labeled vitality, but... I want to. So vanilla is one of those things that's super easily recognizable as a scent and a flavor. Um, you know vanilla ice cream and you use vanilla almost every time you bake. Same plant is part of the orchid family. The flavor is really easily reproduced with synthetic chemicals. So when you're in the grocery store, please watch that what you're buying for your baking is actually pure vanilla extract and not imitation vanilla extract. Super easy mistake to make. Companies label it so that they look almost identical. If you're buying the imitation, you're getting synthetic. So although cheaper, bad for you. Please watch what you're buying at the grocery store. In the oils world, it's um, a super expensive spice. It's second only after saffron, and it's because it's super hard to grow, kind of as I was explaining to you. It's a member of the orchid family, native to Central America, South America, and the Caribbean. Although many orchids are edible, vanilla is the only plant out of 25,000 orchid species that is actually cultivated as a food source. Um, vanilla was originally yeah. cultivated by the Tonax before they were conquered by the Aztecs in the 1400s. 
they used it for everything from sweetening their drinking cocoa, now known as um, hot cocoa, and they added it as flavoring to their cigars. How cool is that? When the Aztecs were conquered by the Spanish, all of their riches were brought to Europe, including vanilla. However, it didn't become popular in Europe until the 1600s when vanilla flavored desserts became a favorite of Queen Elizabeth I. I love history, like this kind of history. I, I'm not super into like the wars and stuff. I'm not a history buff, but this kind of like Atlas Obscura type history is so my gig. So after that, after Queen Elizabeth developed a taste for it, the spice quickly became popular in France, where Thomas Jefferson, my one of my favorite presidents, he first tried vanilla ice cream and brought it back to America. Vanilla has grown in popularity ever since, becoming the main ingredient not only in food and drink, but also in perfumes and body products. I love that. Like, that's just so cool. It only grows, it, it grows on a vine. And it only blooms once a year, and it must be fertilized within that window that it's growing. Once the plant has been pollinated, it develops a seed pod that looks much like a bean. This is why the fruit is called vanilla beans. So that's where we know vanilla comes from. When it doesn't come off the vine, when it comes straight off the vine, it doesn't taste or smell anything like the vanilla we know. Producing the scent and flavor takes months of drying, curing, and then extracting. Because of the fragile nature of the compounds in vanilla beans, they can't be extracted by most of the traditional means, like steam distilling doesn't work with vanilla. So Young Living had to come up with an alternative way of, um, distract, of extracting this oil for us. Um, so some of these things, I don't know if I'm gonna be FDA compliant in reading them. There's studies that I found. So I, I think they're FDA compliant because I'm doing direct quotes. I don't know. I'll try to be careful here. So vanilla is widely um, credited as a calming substance. It creates positive associations and evokes feelings of warmth and happiness. We all know that smell of like warm baked cookies. It's usually that vanilla that's like warm and happy. The Sloan Kettering Cancer Center in New York has used vanilla aromatherapy during patient MRI scans for nearly 30 years based on the premise that the scent calms feelings of anxiety and claustrophobia. Isn't that neat? So when you go for an MRI scan at this cancer center, you get to smell like warm baked cookies. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, vanilla also works to improve sleep quality. Vanilla works on a physical and mental level to help you relax. It quiets the mind and relieves tension so you're lulled more easily to sleep. Uh, vanilla on, on bed pillows has been shown to help you breathe easier at night. It supports your respiratory system because of its promotion of relaxing feelings and it affects the respiratory center of your brain. The National Center for Scientific Research in France conducted a study in premature infants, so like Karis when she was born, and found significant improvement in sleep apnea when the infant slept on pillows containing vanilla. That's pretty cool. Um, I don't know if I can read this. I couldn't find the exact hospital that did this study, so I'm going to have you look it up. Um, just type in something about lab trials and vanilla oil with E. coli and listeria um, and find that article with that lab in that hospital. It's a very interesting read, but I couldn't find like a direct site source for that one, so I'm not sure if I can read that compliantly. Um, oh yeah. Um, vanilla works as an... Vanilla works as an aphrodisiac, so this one's really good around Valentine's Day. Really, really good around Valentine's Day. There are chemical substances produced and released into the environment, and vanilla scents are an attractor of this, encouraging increased levels of estrogen and testosterone. So some of our oils, like clary sage, work better on women, or lang lang works better on women. Vanilla works on both, so you can save a bit of money come Valentine's Day and use vanilla for both of you. Ah, yes. Um, because of its effects on estrogen production, it also yeah. helps with symptoms of PMS, things like bloating or fatigue or muscle discomfort, and it helps better regulate your emotions. Vanilla boosts skin and hair health. 
Vanilla essential oil contains B vitamins that are important for healthy and shiny hair. And some people say that it can even help prevent hair loss. Um, there are multiple other um, like acids and other um, nutritional things found in vanilla that help promote skin health and um, with acne. So that's really good with all the mask wearing lately. And it also helps prevent wrinkles, fine lines, and age spots. Okay, I think that's all I'm gonna read for you this evening. I have tons more. Um, like I said, some of it, I'm not sure I can read to you compliantly. I would highly, highly, highly encourage you to look up an article by NCBI. The title of it, oh, I don't know if I can read the title. Uh, all right. If you go to Google and type in NCBI and type in properties of plant essential oils against human pathogens, you should find the article. If you don't, let me know and I can help you find it. This article, it's really long, but holy cow, is that packed full of wonderful, wonderful, wonderful information. And not just about vanilla. There is a lot of talk about vanilla in there, but it talks about tons of oils and tons of effects on the human body. And right now, with everything the world is going through, this article is highly pertinent, although it was published in 2016. I highly encourage you to find that article on your own time. <laughs> um, oh my word, you guys, I have so many other good notes. I'm like, oh shoot, I was gonna read that. Oh shoot, I was gonna read that. Oh, here's one. Okay, so blood pressure, also really, really good for blood pressure. I'm just gonna say that. Okay, so now that I've played with the gray line long enough, seriously guys, do 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 some research because it's incredible. This oil is so good. I have been researching it for like six years, hoping that Young Living would come out with it, and I am over the moon. I screamed out loud when they announced it, and Luke was like, he thought the house was on fire or something. I was like, it's vanilla. I'm so excited, you guys. <sighs> okay. So I am going to, I'm just going to double check Facebook here and see if anybody else like commented on the thing that I posted about technical difficulties and nope. Okay. Do you, any of you have anybody to add to the prize wheel? Nope. All right. So let's see if I can share my screen. Hang on. Technical difficulties abound. Hang on, baby. You just gotta wait a second. Okay. Can you see? Yes? Okay, I, I think I got a yep from Anne. I'm <laughs> lip reading. <laughs> okay, so click to spin. I think we've got everybody, right? We've got everybody who's tuned in live tonight. We've got our likes and shares and comments from last week. So here we go. Spin the wheel. Rodney is our winner. Congratulations. Your first time tuning in live to an Oily Fireside Chat and you're a winner. Look at that. How cool is that? Lucky duck. Good thing I stayed tuned in. I know, right? Good thing you didn't ditch on us. <laughs> yep. All right. all right. Well, I think that's all we have for tonight. I will get you a prize next time I see you. All right. Because you'll probably you. be babysitting the girlies. <laughs> right, right. All right. Does anybody else have anything else they want to add for tonight? No? Awesome. Well, thank you, everyone, for hanging in there with our technical difficulties. Next week, hopefully, we can get it to share live to Facebook. All right. Well, you all have a good night. Bye, Bye. everybody. Bye. Bye.